New plans are in the works to draw in thousands to Vigo County. That's with the proposal of a new venue. News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn explains what could be in store and why it's already bringing excitement to the county. This is new for you now at 5. The former international paper property site has been the site of controversy as of late, but plans are in the works to share the space with something a little more promising. We just really want to take what's here, um, kind of clean it up, make it look nice. A five-year-old dream could become a reality for Tim Drake, co-owner of what he hopes to call the mill. He says plans are in the works to transform part of the international paper site into a permanent home for music. We're looking for probably 10 to 15 major shows out back, 4,000, 5,000 person shows. Inside it's going to be about a 500 person venue. The goal is to turn it into an in and outdoor concert venue and event space. Drake estimates it'll take about a million and a half dollars to get up and running, but in the meantime, excitement is building, especially from county commissioners. This area, there's going to be someone that's going to be interested in this piece, no matter what goes on the other side. As many of you know already, county leaders are eyeing the property for the new jail. Commissioner Judy Anderson says sharing the land would not interfere with the facility or its plans. In fact, she says it actually helped add to it. With what we paid for it and the use that we're going to use, uh, having an income uh, to uh, help generate uh, some revenue is going to be awesome. Being neighbors to a new jail is an idea Drake says he doesn't mind. He's excited to preserve this space and its history while adding something new to the community. We hope to kind of build upon that and I think that will trickle throughout the whole community. Plans are still in the beginning stages and nothing set in stone, but organizers tell me they hope to make some movement by the beginning of 2019. In Vigo County, Aaliyah Blackburn, back to you.